Good morning, Grade 3. Hope you're all doing well and working hard and getting all of your work done. Today, we are going to have a look a little bit at some soldier sums. First, we're going to start with just some addition soldier sums. Okay, so let's go through it. If we have a sum that looks like this, for example, so 34 plus 25, the first thing we need to remember is that soldier sums have to live in columns. Okay, so just like soldiers stand in nice straight lines, our soldier sums need to live in columns. And those columns will be the units, the tens, and the hundreds. Okay, so I'm just going to add that onto my board quickly. Now, the reason that these need to stay in their columns is that we can't mix them and add them up separately. If we keep them nice and separate, it's very easy to add them. So, I've got my units column over here and my tens column over here. So, when I write my numbers in for my sum, I'm going to make sure that they are in the correct column. So, my 34, I know that the 3 is the 10 and the 4 is the unit. And for the number 25, I know that my number 2 is the 10 and my 5 is the unit. So when I write those in, I need to make sure that the 3 is under the 10s column and that the 4 is under the units column. And that the 2 is under the 10s column and the 5 is under the units column. Like this. Now, because it's a plus sum, we need to add in our plus sign. So our plus sign goes over here. So we've got 34 plus 25, and now we need a nice equal sign, which you're going to use a ruler, but I don't have a ruler with me. So there's my giant equal sign. So this is what a soldier sum looks like. Okay, the numbers are just in nice straight rows, and try and spread it out and make it quite big when you start so that you don't get too confused. Okay, now comes the fun part. This is when we start adding. Okay, when we do soldier sums, we always start with the units column. Okay, no matter how big our number is, if it's got hundreds, tens, units, thousands, hundreds of thousands, we always start with the units column. So let's have a look. In this units column, ignore everything else, we're just looking at the units column. We've got 4 plus 5. What is 4 plus 5? Hopefully you know. 9. So underneath here, we are going to write a 9. Okay. Now, we finished with that one and we can move on to the tens column. So let's have a look. Ignore everything else. All we're looking at is the tens column. And we've got 3 plus 2. What's 3 plus 2? That's right. 5. So, there you go. Sorry, my hand rubbed it out a little. So, now we know that 34 plus 25, when I lay it out like this, is equal to 59. Easy peasy, eh? Alright, we're going to look at another example, just to make sure that you've got it. So, my sum is 72 plus 15. So, I need to lay it out correctly. And the first thing I'm going to do is write my units and my tens column. If you want to do these in colour, that's probably a good idea. Then you can keep it nice and separate. Okay. So, for 72, what number is going to go in the tens column? It will be the 7, because that is my 10 in the number 72. And in the units column, I'm going to put my 2. Okay, so 72 plus 15. So, in my tens column will be the 1, and in my units column will be the 5. Okay, then I need my giant equal sign at the bottom. And now I'm ready to go. So, what do we always start with? Our units column. Okay, so we need to remember that it's a plus sign. And let's go. So, we've got a 2 plus 5 gives us 7. And 7 plus 1 gives us 8. So, 72 plus 15 equals 87. So nice and easy, hey? Okay, so that's all there is to it, guys. I hope you enjoy this activity. And if you get stuck, let your teacher know and they'll be able to try and help you. Tomorrow, there's some more examples that you're going to have to do. And these ones will have hundreds in it. Now, all you need to do for the hundreds is carry on. So you'll have an H, a T, and a U. You'll do the units first, then your tens, then your hundreds. So it's exactly the same thing, and it's gonna, you, you'll be able to work out these big, amazing numbers. 
Good luck grade three and let us know if you get stuck.